Good morning or good evening. My name is Cindy and I want to talk about the four top dangers of hookup culture and modern feminism through the lens of my own personal experiences. I think that this is an extremely important topic that we have to talk about, which I think that a lot of people do not want to talk about. So watch this video till the end and let's talk about it. Hello my amours and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I create a lot of art, spirituality, and lifestyle content. So make sure that you join in the family by clicking subscribe and the bell ring so you will not miss any new videos. And make sure that you like, share this video, and comment down below about your thoughts and opinion about this matter. If you have any other topic that you would like to recommend for me to cover, you can also share that with me in the comments down below. Make sure that you also follow my Instagram for more content over here or over here. So, in today's modern society, a lot of people may think that hookup is not such a big of a deal, whether it is in my country or somewhere else. And I think that to the extent, it has some good sides to it, but I personally think that it has more negative sides to it instead of positive. Okay, especially let's talk about modern feminism. I think that is really great that nowadays women can explore their own sensuality and intimacy so much more. I think that that is great. That is basic human rights. I do believe that. That is my personal opinion. But here is the thing. To some extent, there are some things that I feel that modern feminism thinks in a way that they justify some negative behaviors or negative experiences that can literally bring dangers to them, whether it's risking their health, their body, their mental state and their emotional state, but they're justifying it by using the excuse of, oh, but this is modern feminism or that this is freedom of our sexual exploration. In today's hookup culture, things are just becoming more and more dangerous, especially when it comes to dating app because we don't know who is out there who is trying to catfish you or maybe they're a serial killer or somebody who is a sociopath or a psychopath. We may never know. And obviously we know when it comes to hookup, we don't know about their sexual history. We don't know about their, you know, their intention. We also don't know about their health status as well. So when you hook up with someone that easily that you don't really know, you risk your health you know your physical health your mental health and your emotional health as well so i personally think that if you do want to do hookup there's nothing wrong with that just make sure that you can trust the person that you already know who the person is and you get to know them properly i think that that is fine but what i'm specifically talking about in this video is the hookup culture as in when you meet someone from a dating app and you still don't know that much about them, probably you only met them for one time, and yet you go right into the bedroom with them. And I think that that can be so extremely dangerous, especially for women, because historically, and based on data, most of the sexual victims are women. And so, I personally think that when it comes to modern feminism, there's just a lot of flaw to it. I myself, I do believe in women's rights and human rights, of course, but I believe it to its extent as well. You know, I, what I mean to say is that I believe to some extent only, which I feel like if there's something, like some excuses that you're using just to justify a negative behavior or unhealthy pattern or dangerous experiences that you put on yourself then that is something that i do not believe in but disclaimer i also want to tell you that 
I also had hookups in the past. So like I said before, I'm talking about this whole topic through my own lens of experiences. I would not be sitting here and talking about this with you when I had no idea about what the hookup culture is. So I personally have experienced hookup just only a very few times many years ago and it is something that I will definitely never ever do anymore because I'm also a spiritual person. I'm not a religious person but I am a spiritual person and I have learned about how a soul tie can be so full of impact, like how a soul tie can be so powerful when you have sex with someone because I have made a video about this with my friend as well, Magistus Mifta, where we talk about the magic of sex and why sex is such a powerful energy exchange. So when you have sex with someone, you have to be very careful with who they are because that is an exchange of energy that you create. That is some type of a soul tie that you create with that person. I personally can feel the other person's energy, emotions, and even mental state when I do have intimacy with them. So if they are not a good person, if they don't have good intention towards me, then I can definitely sense that and it will impact my mental state because I remember that I had an ex a hookup experience one time many many years ago with this guy who was really he was really full of himself and he was one of the most entitled person I have ever met in my life and he did not have good intention towards me and I was acting on my impulses because just a side note I do have mental illness at that time I was not on medication I have bipolar type 1 and I also have bipolar uh, bipolar type 1 and borderline personality disorder so one of my mental flaws is that I can become so so impulsive and acting out of character and so at that time I really felt bad and ashamed of myself that I was acting on impulses because of my mental state but I'm just letting you know that this is the reason why I did it at that time but it is something that I'm still regretting over because I was acting on impulse towards this guy who was totally not good for me and he was not treating me well at that time as well and after the hookup i went home and i was such in a bad mood i really felt so so bad about everything and i just wanted to puke i remember that i just wanted to puke at that time because i felt so dirty at that time and so here's the thing i am again i am not saying that the hookup culture is something bad or something ew it's dirty it's disgusting i'm not saying that i'm only saying specifically if you do hook up with someone just make sure that you know who the person is that you can have trust with the person because i think that the most important thing when it comes to intimacy is the trust that you can build with that person so i used to think back then let me tell you disclaimer i myself i used to think that the hookup culture is all cool and fun and games but oh my goodness it really really ruins your mental health it really ruins your emotional health as well it's just not good and obviously physically you know you put yourself at risk in so many different ways as well i have had friends who were who are probably still really active in their hookup culture you know their lifestyle i would say and i don't judge that it's their body it's their choices so there's nothing wrong with it you know it has nothing to do with me it's not my problem it's not my life so i just let them do whatever they want but one time they came to me and they asked me cindy i feel so tired all the time i feel so drained all the time so they asked me the reason why they were feeling that way and i kept telling them don't you realize that for so long you keep hooking up with all of these guys like so many different men and like th this person keeps doing it for such a long long time for probably years with so many 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 different guys 
for a whole week, for a whole month and months and months and this person keeps complaining how tired and drained they feel especially each time after they had intimacy with someone you know they they hook up with someone and i keep telling them the reason why is because you are hooking up with someone that you barely even know that you don't have any emotional connection with and so you cannot expect intimacy with someone that you cannot even trust and what's really ironic is that this person they told me that what they truly want is emotional connection or intimacy but yet they are looking right at the wrong ways okay so another point that i want to talk about hookup culture is that i think that so many people are becoming less and less emotional emotionally intelligent because they are focusing too much on you know a temporary pleasure and I, I think that there are so many different ways that we can do to gain temporary pleasures we don't have to do it through hookups again like I'm saying if you want to have intimacy with someone just make sure that you know them you feel safe around them you feel comfortable and even better if you do have emotional connection with that person and so I think that the more you do hookups especially with so many different people all at once that is like diminishing your emotional sensitivity and it's going to make it really difficult for you to also have a good healthy mature stable relationship with someone when you do want to have a relationship one day because when you keep hooking up with someone and you keep you know you keep changing partners over and over and over again and you get all of these temporary pleasures that is all going to change one day when you do get into a relationship when you do get into a relationship you have to be mature you have to be emotionally intelligent you have to be vulnerable you have to be stable you have to be open with your partner and so when you only focus on these temporary pleasures and then suddenly you change into a relationship let's say that is going to make you so mentally difficult like difficult to change because you're so used to these temporary pleasures to the point that it makes you numb it literally makes your emotions numb because you're only getting temporary pleasures instead of a true pleasure from a true intimacy or a true emotional connection so i feel that this is also another point of how dangerous the hookup culture can be if you don't do it responsible uh, responsible boldly <laughs> somehow i just lost my train of words but you know you get what i mean and so the very last thing that i want to mention is of course about the soul tie that i talked about before and i will be making a video specifically about that to get in deeper into the topic and i will be collaborating with my friend again magister smifta about how a soul tie can be created when it comes to sex you know true intimacy with someone so the very last point that i want to talk about is that when you have intimacy with someone i'm not talking about your religious belief or your spiritual beliefs or whatever it may be i'm also talking about scientific stuff as well over here they say that we each have a magnetic field around <clears throat> around our physical body and our heart is probably like 5000 times more as i remember 5000 times more magnetic than the brain so that means when you do create a connection with someone you do have some type of like chemistry like a pull push and pull with someone and so let's say that you have intimacy with five different people in only one week that means you create some type of energetical connection some type of like a soul tie that you create with that with all of those people in only one week and that is automatically going to drain you if you don't 
you know, if, if you're not aware about this because you create a soul tie and when you create a soul tie you create some type of like an energetical pipeline between you and that person and that is the reason why you would feel so tired and drained all the time because your body cannot and will not be able to contain that many intimate soul ties all at once especially again like i said let's say that you have intercourse with five different people in only one week your physical body your energetical body will not be able to contain so many soul ties like that with so many different energies and so many different vibrations all at one time it's all just going to clash each other out and that is going to make you super drained so i would say my last advice for you is that if you are into the hookup culture just make sure that you're doing it responsibly of course again i'm not saying that it is wrong i'm only only sharing my own thoughts and my own experiences with you and why i think that it's becoming more dangerous but i'm not saying that it's wrong if you still want to do it then by all means go ahead and do it responsibly responsibly of course and my last takeout in this video is that well if you don't want to do the whole hookup thing anymore then that's also fine you know there's nothing wrong or right or whatever it may be if you don't want to do the hookup the whole hookup thing again then my advice for you is to just you know be very selective as to who you have intimacy with especially if you do want to have a healthy and stable relationship one day you have to energetically be ready for that space to come because like what they say you have to clean out the old things you know in your space in order for the new things to come so if you want to have a new relationship with someone you know a true commitment with someone then you know you have to just clear out all of these energies from the old past experiences so that you can actually welcome in the new space i i, I know that this is kind of like a woo-woo spiritual thing but at least that is my only advice when it comes to spirituality that is my that is my own advice that's what i meant to say that is my own advice because this is you know based from my own understanding as well so this is it for today's video thank you so much for watching it all through the end make sure that you also follow my instagram at amorinet the link is down below in the description and again whatever your thoughts and opinions are about this topic let's go ahead and have a discussion down below in the comments don't forget to subscribe and like and also click the bell ring so you will not miss any new videos and i will definitely be back Mwah.